Hello everybody and welcome back to the Curious Expedition episode 3. Let's go ahead and jump on in. So we get to choose our next destination. We're just going to go ahead and go to the default one. Uh, we are currently Expedition 3 of 6, Fame 197 and phone, Phones Funds 20. Alright, let's go ahead and start this expedition. Eagerly anticipating the upcoming adventure, I made haste and arrived at the docks. The crew had preparation left to do, so I had one last pot of tea. A military man approached me and spoke of a deserter who had abandoned his post hidden in a native village. I would be handsomely rewarded if I could bring him back to civilization. We're just going to go ahead... Oh boy, we've got nobody. Um, we're just going to go ahead and refuse that. I refused his request. I would not endanger our journey with this kind of quest. Brother Virgil, a missionary, offered to join his expedition. Well, we really need people, so we're going to go ahead and recruit him. We can use a missionary and welcome Brother Virgil to our trek. My heart jumped with joy as I heard our vessel was ready to sail. Let's see. We've got some bullets. We've got some ropes. You know what? I'm going to see if we can get any machetes. So we're going to go in and purchase equipment. I decided to visit the general store before setting off. I knew that many of the items would be hard to come by in the wild. Okay, so, oh, what are these? A wonder of optical science. These magnificent binoculars will slightly increase your viewing distance. Huh. All right, so, all right, we're just going to go ahead and get all those. All right, and we're going to start Expedition 3. Hopefully this will be a good expedition. I would like to try and increase our fame. That's 20, that's 15. Why does it take... Alright, well fine. It takes less to get to that one, so we're going to start with that. Alright, let's enter the mission. We went through the gate and were greeted by an old missionary. He was visibly relieved to see new faces as he had been alone for longer than he cared to remember. He greeted Brother Virgil warmly and assured us that we were welcome to sleep within the safety of his walls at any time. Alright, let's go ahead and rest real quick. The priest was glad to have some company and let us rest in his relative safety of the mission. The priest scurried off for a while but returned with several bottles of whiskey that he wanted to share. Well, let's have a drink. We accepted his offer and passed the whiskey around. It was not aged as well as we had hoped and left a particular bitter taste on our tongues. Alright, so now our stamina is fully back up. The priest inquired as whether he could be further assistance. Let's go ahead and check the storage room. The priest allowed us access to the missing storage room and promised us that he would have all items sent back to civilized world for us if we wouldn't be able to pick them up again ourselves. Oh, so we can go ahead and put stuff here. All right. After talking about the storage room, the missionary returned to his other duties. Okay, so it sounds like we could store items here if we get full. So that's kind of cool. Um, so let's go ahead and, you know what, we'll just see what he has. Uh, nothing we really need. So we're just going to go ahead and cancel. And we're going to go ahead and leave. We said our goodbyes. He wished us luck. Then it was time to move onwards towards new adventure. Okay, so let's take off from the mission, and we're going to go ahead and travel over here. We're going to enter the hut. We entered a mysterious looking hut. It was dark and damp inside with all kinds of dried herbs and other peculiar hang things hanging from the damp walls. A native shaman approached us with an absent stare as he chewed on some leaves. Well, we don't really have anything to trade, so we're going to go ahead and leave. And the compass shows that we should be moving upwards, so that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and head up this way. Oh, let's go ahead and try for that question mark, so go ahead and keep traveling. Oh, there's a hole in the ground. Well, we definitely don't want to fall into that. Oh, and there's another question mark. Nice. Okay, let's explore this cave. We approached a cave. Its opening led deep into the... Oh, we don't have a torch. Last time we did this, I lost someone. Um, you know what? We're going to have to leave because we can't afford to lose anybody. All right. Let's go ahead and travel up to this village. The natives observed us with curiosity. They were kind and offered 
help to our cause. Let's go ahead and see if we can recruit anyone. We sat down and spoke with the natives to see if anyone would be willing to join our trek. No one wanted to join our trek. However, one of the elders offered us the tallest wallowed buffalo we had ever seen. Let's definitely take that. It's another pack animal. We got a water buffalo. We still felt welcome. We could tell that the villagers had become disturbed by our presence. All right, we're going to go ahead and leave. We told the men to pack up and depart as new adventures awaited us. The natives thanked their gods as we left their village. The following days, we caught glimpses of the villager warrior behind us. Brother Virgil was seemingly relieved as we left the natives. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. Mag huh. All right. Well, I guess let's just continue to venture this way based on the compass here. Hmm. Alright, we're just going to keep traveling up and hope that we find something. Hmm. Getting concerned by all that water. Okay. Well, we don't really have any choice but just to kind of continue on here. Ooh. All right, and we're going to run out of sanity points, and oh, we do not have a lot to show for it. Okay, already this expedition is going poorly. Um, I guess we just got to keep going down here. Bad things are going to start happening soon because our sanity is so... Yep, here it comes. As we awoke this morning, Brother Virgil was gone. He had abandoned us during the night. This was itself already problematic, but he had also taken some valuables with him. Not good. Uh, well, we really have no choice but to try and huff it down here. So, well, and here it comes again. I reached my tipping point. My stomach was as empty as my thoughts and hope. I whispered a goodbye to Missy Jenkins before I ended her misery. Her meat was stringy but revitalizing, and I gained enough strength to carry on a few more days. Well, that is very, very sad. Well, we got 30 out of it, so let's go ahead and travel here. See if we can rest up for a couple of days, and then we'll continue on on our own. So let's go ahead and stay overnight. The priest was greedy. If he wanted to rest within the walls of the mission, we'd have to make a donation. Oh. Wow. Okay. Well, that's the end of that. He definitely wasn't much of a help. Let's continue on. Strike out into the wilderness. Okay. Well, this is definitely not going very well, and here comes another bad thing. I felt exhausted and was not sure if I had the strength to carry on. It was only me and my trusted fellow, Mr. Walsh, now. Without him, I would not be able to keep going. All right, we're going to make a dash for this question mark. Oh, not good. All right, we'll do aim shot. And round. Hopefully I'll get nothing. Ooh. Okay. Not good. Do another aim shot and he's probably going to kill us on this turn. Alright. Please get nothing. Oh, we're dead. <sighs> Well, unfortunately, I believe this is the end of our Let's Play of The Curious Expedition. It's a fun game. I unfortunately um, don't seem to be very good at it, but I do enjoy it a lot. I'll probably keep playing it a little on my own time, and maybe if I get better, I'll, I'll post some more of these or if people request it. So let me know what you think, and thanks for tuning in.